to be taking two three and a half inch strips and making them into these pinwheel blocks with half square triangles. How are we gonna do that? Simple. First things first, lay out your three and a half inch strip. And then you're gonna take your other one, next one, and lay it on top, your, your plane and your pattern. And then we're gonna go over to the machine and we're gonna stitch down one side a quarter inch and down the next side a quarter inch. And then I will meet you back here and we will use our ruler and cut that out the half square triangles. All right, I'll see you over at the machine. Alrighty, we are back at the machine and for the two and a half inch strip, so as I just explained, we're gonna stitch down each side here. I didn't bother taking the salvages off because we don't need to worry about that. We will trim them all down. So all I'm gonna do is put right sides together and then line them up and we're just gonna literally stitch all the way down like a tube, just like this. You do wanna make sure that you keep everything nice and straight even. Concept is very similar. Well, I mean, if you've ever done a jelly roll race, you know what it's like to stitch a bunch of two and a half inch strips together. These are three and a half though. Three and a half inch strips are a little harder to find. Riley Blake does a pretty good job of putting a few of those out every year. Uh, a few others as well. It's a lot easier to find them in a batik for some reason. It also doesn't take too long to cut them yourself. I always think picking out the fabric is probably the worst part of um, any quilt. You're trying to coordinate things, which is why I love pre-cut so much. So as we get to the end here, I'll show you what we're going to do. You can see that the Kona was just a little bit wider than the other, which is generally the case when you're working with solids. Okay, so then all we have to do is flip it over and make sure that you are nice and even. You don't want it to be uh, wonky when you get started. And then we can start down here. All right, everybody, we are back. As you can see, we have stitched a quarter inch along this line and a quarter inch along the other side, all the way down the width of the fabric. So now we're ready to cut our half square triangles. Um, you don't have to worry about the salvage edge here. And on a side note, I went all the way down, cut all the way back, and of course, where did my bobbin end? Right here. Oh, struggles of bobbin life. All right, if you have this ruler on um, as part of your kit, if you purchase the kit through our shop, if not, any 45 degree ruler will work. Um, in fact, here's one that um, I was using earlier just marking out where I needed to go, making sure I was accurate on my cuts. So uh, this one works well for ours. Uh, obviously, if you get a wider strip, it's probably not gonna work, um, but it will give you some options. So what we're gonna do is don't worry, if you're using our ruler, uh, don't worry about um, what the five says or anything like that. It's strictly for us to get our, our length of measurement and our angles. So what I'm gonna do is you'll notice I'm lining it up right along this five line, which happens to go with the half square triangle line from before. And I'm not too worried about um, this angle over here right off the salvage. So we'll just push it up here and right like that, make sure we're accurate. And then I'm gonna come in here. Um, this ruler obviously isn't 100% perfect for this, but I wanted to be able to make it dual purpose for you. So simple fix we're just going to rock back real quick nothing crazy and then go forward on this and then because the grid has grippers we can pull this off get a little bit better angle and i like to go back just a skosh and then run it right through so that's how you're going to get 
our half square triangle. Now, you can see here, there's still a little bit of stitching, and that's something you're probably gonna find with some of these strip ones is going to happen. But I mean, look, that was super easy to pull apart, and you can just go press it open, and then we'll come back and I'll show you how to square it up. But I also wanna show you the other angle. So, on this side, you're gonna mark it, so we're gonna put it on that five, five inch line, or five line which means nothing, and then we can just go straight up here, straight through, and then follow it through, and you have your next one. So we're gonna do that all the way down the strip, and press them open, and I will be right back to show you how to trim it. All right, it. so we're back, and we have our cut half square triangle. Now all we have to do is line it up. So as I've mentioned in the past, if you've seen this before, uh, you can line it up on your 45 degree line on your mat. Again, I have my rotating mat back out, and then we're gonna take my square ruler here, and I'm gonna line this up right along the center line of the 45 degree, and we're gonna count one, two, three, four, and a half. You can see we have some stuff to trim up here, so we're just gonna trim it and trim it. You can rotate the mat if you like, just don't pick up your block. And then we have our square, half square triangle, so. We will start putting all the blocks together and we can line them up. And this is how it's going to look. So you wanna have one here and you always want like the L shape. So this L shape facing clockwise around. So if you were to turn the mat, it's always facing towards you in that L shape. So L shape, L shape, L shape, L shape. All right, let's go put them together. Okay, now we're at the point where we're going to put our two squares together. So we're gonna do right sides together in our pinwheel. And because we are pressing to the dark side, we want to make sure that we nest our seams. We get our little duck bill there. And we just line it up. You may have a little bit of threads from where the stitching overlaps from uh, the strip method. But you can just easily pull those off with your thumb, no big deal. Then we're just gonna start stitching a quarter inch. And then we can take our bottom piece and we will get these guys lined up here. Same thing, right sides together. Go ahead and click in to your nesting and then this one will start from the top. And I'll meet you back here for final block assembly. Alrighty, so we have our blocks pressed and ready to go, and we're just gonna put them right sides together. And again, because we press to the dark side, our seams will nest, which is fantastic. And you'll see we'll have print on white, and print on white, and then that's how you know you've lined it up correctly. Okay, so then we're just gonna line it up here. And again, stitch away, quarter inch. Sometimes when I get closer, I like to slow down, make sure I'm still on track. All right, and if all went according to plan, then we have a perfectly nested seam, and we do. So go ahead and press it open and we're ready for the next one.